there. Hillary here for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I am here at the Bit of Pets booth in Palooza, California, and we're going to talk to Jeremy, who's going to tell us a little bit about the different types of food that Bit of Pets offers, because recently, over the past year, they've come out with some new foods, and I don't know that everybody knows about them, so let's go and find out. I would like you guys to meet Jeremy. How are you today, Jeremy? I'm doing great. How are you, Hillary? I'm good. Now, what is your role here at Benefits? My role, I'm president and CEO. So, I uh, actually started the company, formulated the products back in the, first, the very beginning, and, uh, and here we are today. So. Awesome. Now, how long has Benefits been around? Because I know I've seen you at shows for years. Yep, yep. So we actually formed Benepets in 2013. Okay. And so it took us four years to develop our flagship product, which most people know about, which is the Bene Reef. That yes. took us about four years and then came to market with that. And then, uh, yeah, so since 2013, we've been around, so. Wow. All right, so talk, let's talk a little bit about the OG Benepets. It's the powder, right? Absolutely, yep. All right. So that, yeah, that's our flagship product, Bene Reef. We have three different size jars. We have a small, medium, and large. They're designed for uh, about a three month supply. So if you look down here, we have a, a nano to 40 gallon tank, which uh, gives you about three months. That's for the small jar. Okay. And if you, uh, the medium over here, sorry, if you go to the medium, a 40 to 90 gallon, that medium jar will last you about three months. And if you look at the large here, that's about a 90 to 250 gallon, uh, for a 90 to 250 gallon tank system, that large jar, which is 160 grams, will last you about three months. Now, a lot of people look at that and they go, man, that's a lot of food for that. Yeah. And that's what we want to talk about a little bit is just talking about how Bene Reef is a whole biome food nutrition. So yes. it, what that means, red filled neutral, it feeds everything in the system. It's a whole microbiome food that uh, you can feed feed with it, but it's it's not going to raise your or spike your nutrients and oh, it feeds like everything that. in the system. So it's a, it's a really fun food. It, you know, it's again, most people that, that know us have used this over the years and understand how it works. Uh, you mix it with your, with your tank water let it sit for about three to five minutes to activate the, the pre and probiotic bacteria that's in the food, and then you can go ahead and broadcast feed that. And some people actually do uh, less water, make it more into a paste, and so they can okay. actually spot feed with it as well. So it feeds, you know, it's primarily used for like, you know, your mixed reef tanks or heavily, you know, uh, populated SPS systems, you know, things like that. And uh, yeah, food works great, people use it. And they, they notice, you know, not only does it feed everything, but the fish will also eat it, your inverts, filter feeders, crabs, snails, live rock, it's just everything in the system will, will consume it and use it. And we've had a lot of people tell us that actually, we'll notice that it uh, not only doesn't spike nutrients, but they'll see the next day that their, their water's a lot clearer, you oh, know? Wow. So algaes, things like that, they just don't have a lot of those issues with the, with the food. So. Again, you have a heavily stocked system, you can actually feed more of Bene Reef. Jeremy, so one of the things that you just touched on and you kind of went over real quickly, but I want to rehash because sure. I didn't know this until we talked the last time, <laughs> is you have to let it sit for three minutes. Yeah, between three and five minutes. So there's dormant bacteria that's in our food, so the Supreme Probiotics, and so that's in the actual powder, right? Yep. So once it comes in contact with water, that'll activate those pre and probiotic bacteria. What happens if you let it sit too long, then the bacteria itself will start, actually start to eat and consume the food that's within the food, right? So we want that happening in the system. We don't yes. want that waiting all along. So there's people that have actually like, you know, mixed it and then they'll, they'll wait all day and dose with it. It's not gonna hurt their system, but they're not gonna get the full benefit of, of what the food does. So there's that. We've even had people ask us, can I freeze it? Can I mix it and freeze it? And we, we don't want that either because that'll also uh, not, it's not good for the bacteria. So that's one of the reasons why we actually created the Bene Pellet Reef. I was gonna say, that's so, a perfect segue yeah, into yeah. the pellets. Yeah, so we had a lot of our customers like, we love the food, but man, I just, I want something for my auto feeder. If I wanna go on vacation, do you have anything that, that we could use for that? And so that's why we came out with the Bene Pellet Reef. So it, it is literally the same food, it's just in a pellet form. So um, we have, again, three sizes. We have a 1.7 millimeter pellet. We have a 2.5 and a 3.0 millimeter pellet. And we've got some on the table though too, but like that this is a good size comparison. Yeah, yep. And we have three pouch sizes. So we have a 38 gram pouch, we have a 76 gram pouch, and we have a 152 gram pouch uh, for those. And they're great for, like again, auto feeders. It's just the application. Yep. But people even, even if they don't have an auto feeder, they can still use it and throw it into the tank. And then the fish, fish, everything will go for it. Oh yeah. It'll uh, sink down to the bottom of the tank. And then if, if whatever doesn't get eaten by the fish, will actually eventually just break down within about five, 10 minutes and then that gets utilized in the tank as well. So, yeah. Nice. 
Now I see, so you've got the reef, but you also have the LPS pellets. Correct. Is it the same thing or a different ISO? So it, it's a different formulation. So right, so from, from this product here, we went ahead and did the LPS formulation. And this uh, is, so what we did is we took the best parts of Ben Reef as far as the IP, the prebiotics, probiotics, and then what we did is we accelerated and added more protein, higher concentrated protein. So from 26% protein in the Bene Reef and Bene Pellet Reef up to 46% protein in LPS food, in the wow. LPS Bene Pellet. And then we also added uh, color enhancers and more amino acids. So just giving that coral and what they needed, that extra pop, so the extra nutrition. So it's all in there. And we're actually finding people are saying, man, my fish really love this. We're seeing my fish color up. Oh, so, nice. And again, three sizes, one seven, a two five, and a three millimeter reef pellet. So, yeah. Now, something that I've noticed as I'm sitting here looking, it reminds me, these jars have little QR codes on yep. the top. <clears throat> yep. That looks like it's something new, perhaps? Yeah, so we just started doing these, and we just thought, you know what? We, we wanted to have, you know, let's not waste the real estate, let's put something on there and it's a feeding guide. So oh. you can just scan the, you know, with your phone, scan the QR code and that'll actually take you right to our website, uh, to the feeding guide side. And so it tells you all about how to feed your, you know, your tank, your system, so, you know, so whatever, how much, whatever size your tank is, it'll tell you how much uh, food to feed it. That's so, perfect. Yeah. That's Really perfect. a lot of fun. So yeah, so that's the three product lines and they've been doing really well. So these have been out for about a year now. And they're now more and more people are starting to learn a little bit more about it, and uh, it's it's becoming really fun. So, and actually today at Reef and Blues, we had a lot of people come up to us and tell us, "Man, we've been using the new pellets and 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 learning about it." But they've they've been sharing their experience with it, so it's a lot of fun to see. Yes. Now I gotta say I have had experience with the pellets. Um, there was a couple of videos that I was filming in the past, yep. and one thing that I find really cool about them is when you put them in the water, they do a pretty good job of sinking. So like, yes, if I can like aim it right, I can almost get it on yeah. my corals. They are sinking pellets, exactly. If the exactly. fish don't get to it first. <laughs> Correct, yeah. And there's actually, you know, I know at Top Shelf Aquatics, I know Evan, the one we did, we actually did a video with them uh, a little bit ago. They'll actually put uh, the, the, they'll put the pellets in the water and let them sit like on these to feed the LPS to spot feed. They'll actually put it in there, let it sit for probably like two or three minutes and they'll suck it up in a syringe or like in their turkey baster and then they'll just go to town and spot feed their LPS pretty quickly. So oh, nice. there's different ways, you know, just different applications, however you want to feed it. Some people just do it by hand. You know, so they say, do you have to pre-soak them? You don't. I mean, you can put the pellets directly in and drop a hand feed right in top of the coral as well. Excellent. Now, overfeeding is that is it possible to overfeed so we're more forgiving i think you know we help one of our slogans we take the fear out of feeding it's very hard to do that but i think you can overfeed anything i think you know but this is so forgiving that you, the chances of doing that are rare and mm -hmm. so i think you know like with ben Arif, you know pe there's people that microdose this daily so they'll they'll cut back quite a bit on the food but they feed uh, throughout the day you know every single day and they feed that way to keep the product and the nutrients and the bacteria in the system. Um, if it's a heavily stocked tank, obviously you can feed a lot more as well and get away with it. But yeah, it, you know, again, and it's like with your fish, you know, how much do they consume? You put so many pellets in and then once they're done consuming, you know, obviously. And the, and the other thing too, like people talk about my fish just go after these pellets. So how, what's the, what do I do to, what do I do to feed that? And so there are some options. Um, you can uh, at night, you know, so when the fish go to bed, you can feed it that way or an auto feeder kind of a thing. Um, some people have talked about actually feeding it in the sump too. So oh, nice. there's different ways to, to feed the product and uh, and get it, get it dispersed in the system. Perfect. So yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's that's pretty much. I don't, I don't know if I'm trying to think of all the different ways. I know I don't know if, how you feed, but people will turn off their return, yep. and so that's another popular way. So when they when they actually broadcast feed with Bene Reef, they'll actually or with Bene Pellet Reef, they'll actually. Uh, broadcast and then turn off their flow, the return, and just and just let it just, sit for about 15, 20, or 30 minutes, yep. and then and then kick it back on. So yes. let's let's everything get nice, fat, and happy. If people have questions, yes. where do they reach out to? Want them to go to benepets.co. So www.benepets.co, and we have a great FAQ page on there. And there's just a lot of good tutorials, a lot of good information. There's a feeding guide. We have the science page. Talks a little bit about the science behind Bene Reef and all that. So. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a great website. We're really proud of it and look forward to having you guys go check us out. Perfect. Yep. Awesome. So thank you so much. Again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out and uh, let us know what you think if you give Benepets a try. All right. This has been Hillary for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com and Jeremy with Benepets. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks, Hillary.